The fourth in the frame is Sara Arcolio, talent partner at Rainforest QA, previously in operations. So one coming with not only technical background but also from the operations front. First, always look for alignment to the skill sets and level of experience we call out in the job description. So again, the job description, the keyword coming back. What it clearly says is alignment of skill sets. So what has been asked, does it match the resume? Does it match the, the quality of that candidacy, that candidate? If it is matching, I think it's worth calling them for the second round. What Sarah C outrightly or something very close is that they consider the tone of the resume it's important for them for sara to note what is the tone set for the resume we are bringing a new member should also match the culture of the company how beautifully said that right uh, the tone of the resume should be in the very modest you know you are you are going to get a job you are asking for a job you are applying for a job so it has to be in a in a very crispier mode it has to be the tone of of you know modesty humility generosity and it is it should be very very subtle so a lot of courteousness mannerism and professionalism to be seen at the same time the tone has to be right positive soft i mean that is what has been sought another thing that they uh, are stressing is that anybody who is coming needs to align the company's culture and value how important it is so sara says that it is not only the uh, the skill sets but also the the values and the culture to be met sara says that i like a straightforward one page resume where it is obvious that the candidate has spent time conveying his or her skills and experience while also talking about who they are so you might be coming from various backgrounds irrespective of your backgrounds what they you have to offer to the organization i think that is that is what they are looking into so conveying the right thing and conveying very effectively is the most important thing but one pager can also suffice in case if it is furnished with the right detail uh, that's what sara arkelio looks at even at the resume now the few things few other things which which they are very particular is the yes conveying his or her skill sets along with the experience at the same time uh, the format of the resume right the word choice summary or the objective statement conciseness do not elaborate continuity you uh, you as you have something to speak one after the another so let it be the educational qualification and then maybe a technical qualification if it is different and technical skills that you offer to the company with the right kind of a project and the internship that you have done with the skill sets that you match and the participation overall if you have nothing to offer at least stick to the basic basic job description subheads and try to incorporate in your resume right attention to the detail is one good thing because you you if you are process focused then only the result are going to be successful right a short cover letter a cover letter becomes very very important here you might you know uh, be intelligent to cover whatever there is in the job description in your resume but your cover letter gives you an additional advantage to communicate effectively with your prospective employer so please don't undermine the importance of cover letter which is very very professionally done of the first paragraph of your cover letter says about the reference the second one your strength your experience your appreciation letter your reward anything that you might have fetched working uh, as an intern or uh, doing a project or maybe a short time or a full time uh, part time or a full time job that actually helps them to better understand their interest and that this can go a long long way provided they have the right skills now think of a resume like a poem sara says that think of your resume like a poem edit out whatever that is not necessary not required now the students have so much of qualification and certification done nowadays but is it necessary to be incorporated in the resume if it is not if it is not desired in the job description please do not write it this might include uh, words that are fluff jargons saying something multiple times getting repetitive tasks and responsibility that are table stakes just for the heck of it if you can avoid 
please avoid it right also connect the dots for the recruiters let's interpret what the job description asks and can we you know bridge that that dots exactly into our own words those keywords or buzzwords that you can possibly do it in your resume i think that is what is asked and if you can do that identify the right keyword i think you are almost there another few things that uh, sara men- mentions is if you are looking for to make a career change took time off you have certain breaks in your career your academic sessions and you are looking to get relocated i think you need to take time out and call that recruiter and maybe clarify your angle but as long as you are able to sound logical and rational i think things will be looked into seriously if not then the this these situations are not hidden they'll come up and you might be caught unaware so let's not cheat right let's not come down to a level where we just for the heck of getting a job we are actually you know going that level down understand that you might get a job but if you want to work for a longer time truth is the only way out so be utmost honest to yourself